Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Is it okay to speak over your lives before we close? Please lift your hands. You have heard the word of God tonight. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for diligence. The grace for obedience. To comply with everything that you have heard. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From today, I break the power of laziness over your life. I break the power of laziness over your life. Receive the grace to be diligent and consistent. In the name of Jesus Christ. By reason of what you have heard, as your hands are lifted, I declare over your hands, the Bible says, I am the Lord that teacheth you to profit. That in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Anatokosh Kaparagatekatiasa, I declare that your hands will begin to produce from today. I force your life to begin to produce from today. Produce value that will be transacted for financial abundance. Produce value that is relevant for your society. In the name of Jesus Christ. It say, but a spirit of excellence was found on him. I want to pray over your lives right now. That spirit of excellence, the ability to do things excellently, to be flawless in result, to stand out and dominate by excellence, let that grace rest upon your life from today. From today, everything you do will carry a touch of excellence. It will carry a touch of excellence. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. You are standing here on behalf of yourself and your family members. I declare over your life and your generations. Let the power of the spirit of poverty be broken. I arrest the spirit of poverty from your life. From your family. And from your lineage. I command that spirit to let you go forever. Let you go forever. Let you go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every cycle of lack. Every cycle of deficiency. Every cycle of poverty. I curse that spirit. I command those cycles to be broken now. I command those cycles. I break those cycles now. I break those cycles now. Be over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mantle of favor that is resting upon your life. I declare that after tonight. A door is opening over your life. Step into uncommon places of financial abundance. Step into places of plenty. Step into places of increase. I bring you from a place called Lodiba to a place of abundance. I bring you from a place called Lodiba to a place of increase, to a place of prosperity. Let that grace rest upon your life now. Rest upon your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what he told Saul, Samuel. He said, you shall meet three men at the tomb of Rachel. He said, they shall carry with them three loaves of bread and a goat. He said, they shall salute you and give you two loaves. That grace of favor that causes uncommon access to resources. I don't care wherever you are in life and I don't care what you do, but by the mantle of favor that is resting upon your life, I shift you to a place of abundance. I shift you to a place of abundance. Let that grace the grace of favor rest upon your life now. 
Rest upon your life now. Rest upon your business. Rest upon your handwork. Rest upon your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will never remain the same after today. Exodus 3 verse 21. He said, and I will give you favor before the Egyptians. And it shall be that when you leave, you shall not leave empty handed. I declare for anyone that has been in a place of lack. You have projects in your hands to execute, but there are no resources. Nobody seems to answer your call. Between now and tomorrow evening, let the wind of favor blow around your life. I speak to your helpers wherever they are, north, south, east and west. Whoever needs to answer to you so that that project can be executed, so that your vision can manifest, I force them into your life this season. And I declare that you are returning back with a testimony. You are returning back with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands and give the Lord praise tonight. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord. Peace. 